Hey Wolfpack, Coach in the Hat Eric here. Time for uh, week two of Film Breakdown, Halloween edition. Let's see what we find out here. All right, with that lovely introduction, we'll get started with this week's Film Breakdown. So we're going to start off with a good play. Uh, we got a good mix of good plays and maybe some opportunities here. I got actually a long list of plays today, so buckle up. It may be a bit. So let's start out with one here that really shows some good defense. You can see we're moving. See Liv. You can see Liv and Taya sagging when the ball got over there. Taya's in the shower. Liv's in the shower. If I could pick maybe Raya. There you go. Raya just turned right there to make sure she saw the ball. Right? So Taya gets knocked over. But she gets right back up again. Finds her girl. Closes out. Nisi is all over the ball, and the ball heads out. Still rotating through. Again, you can see you know, people are on top of their girls, facing. Everybody's looking at the ball. Look at that. Nobody's turned their back, which is good. Over here, pump fake. Good. Tay gets under the screen quick. We're going to show some other screens later today that are not maybe quite as good as this one. Out there, and then Raya gets the steal. So... Really good defense. That's what it's supposed to look like. That's our calling card. The next one. So I'm just going to stop it right here. So this is actually the start of game one. So we've been playing basketball for a very, very, very long time. So some things I just don't think we should have to work on anymore. But here's the tap. Let's see. I'm just going to pause here and see if anybody can see what's wrong with this alignment that we have right here. I'll just wait for a second while you guys look. So there's really two major things that are wrong here. The first is they've put two players back against our, basically on their offense side against Taya. So McKenna or Ramey probably have to go back there. It looks like probably McKenna's girl, so it probably should be McKenna back there. The second thing that I see is Taya's way too far up. Taya should be back by the free throw line. And I'll show you why this is so important. So this is the opening tap of the game, right? So the tap's gonna go up, Caitlin loses it, it happens. So comes to here, now look, she breaks forward, and it's actually a three on one, right? So you got three people going against poor Taya all by herself. There she steps through, layup, the game's five minutes, five seconds past, and we're already down by two. So we shouldn't have to work on, on, on setup, but we might have to do that just to make sure that we have to remind everybody. But remember, it's far more important to defend against a fast break on the tap than it is to actually score on it. So that's the first one that we're going to look at. That needs a little bit of work. The second one, so here's the next one. All right, so... One of the rules in the presentation I sent out was, you will rebound or you will sit. So they're about to shoot. So that ball goes up in the, uh, goes up in the air. Taya goes to close. So let's go about right about here. The ball is ready to hit the rim. Count how many wolf packers are actually boxing out. Now, Ramey doesn't have to box out. Ramey, you get, you get full marks for that. And that's actually something we're going to work on in the next few weeks. Don't go run to find your girl to box out if you can get a perfect position. So Ramey's actually, you get a pass. But the other four, you guys have got to be boxing out. And because we don't, McKenna doesn't box out a girl. Comes off short. Ramey can't get to it. They grab it. Gets out of bounds. They get another possession, right? We have to box out. Rebounding is all about will to, want to, and fight. You got to box out and you got to go get the ball. Now, we're going to move on to what happens if you don't box us out. So Olivia's taking this free throw. Now, I think I saw a statistic once that the, re the defending team, so in this case our opponent, they're supposed to get like 85% of any missed free throw rebounds because they're automatically in position. So you see, ramey has been boxed out um, pretty well by her girl. And Isi is kind of getting boxed out by her girl. They have decided not to box out Olivia for some strange reason. Um, but let's continue it forward, and let's see what happens here. 
<laughs> I've watched this clip so many times, I still chuckle, right? So Ramey, like, she doesn't give a rip about anybody. She's going to go get the ball no matter what she needs to do. And I wish I could get all the girls on this team, especially my own daughter, to fight at this level. So I, Ramey's boxed out by actually two girls. She splits them both, knocks one of them to the ground, gets the rebound, and puts it back in for a, for a two. Now, that's not a foul. It's not a foul. Ramey's not pushing. She's not using her arms, right? She's using her body. She's using her shoulder. She's using her leverage to get through there and get the rebound. Great fight, Ramey. I think you had a fight clip last week, too, from what I remember. All right? So now on the next one. Oops, hold on. Yeah, so on to the next one here. So this one's going to make some people feel bad. Let's just kind of walk through here. Again, not trying to make anybody feel bad, but let's just see what happens. They're coming up after that free throw, by the way. Taking it forward, and there you go. You can have a layup. So what the heck happened here? So let's go back. So they're coming down the floor. We're back, right? All five of us are back. But who in the world are we guarding? So first off, nobody is guarding the basketball. I don't know why number five actually passes it, because nobody on our team's actually decided to guard her. But <laughs> whatever, she passes it. And both of those girls are completely unguarded. Both of them. Uh, Ruth is guarding the one girl in the corner. She's wide open, though, because Ruth's too far away. But the girl with the ball and the girl she passes to, neither one of them has anybody guarding them. And what's really funny about this team is that they pass it here and they actually run basically a scrape and she goes in for a layup. But we have got to know who we're guarding. We have four Wolfpack players guarding one opponent. Who are we guarding? Girls, you've got to know who you're guarding. <laughs> if you really want to, if you think this is just me being mean, watch, watch Coach T off to the left after the layup. She's like, what the heck? Who are we guarding? What's going on? So we got to be better than that. All right. <clears throat> the next one. So now this is right after that. We're going to come down, run a pretty decent offensive set really quick. So Olivia comes down. She sees McKenna wide open in the corner. McKenna's going to shoot a two and miss it, but that's okay. She was open. She was in rhythm. That's okay. We want you, if you're open and in rhythm, to shoot it. But what I want to call out is McKenna. After the shot goes up, I think she actually blocks it, which is why it was short. But watch your reaction. You're like, oh no, oh no, I got blocked. I missed it. No, no, no. You got to go down and you got to rebound, right? We don't clap after made baskets. We don't freak out after missed baskets. Everybody's going to miss baskets. It's going to happen to all of us, but we can't just stand and watch our miss. Go follow the shot. Right? So don't worry about it. If you miss it, I've seen Caitlin airball threes over the top of the backboard. Right? It happens. Right? We're all going to miss shots. But we can't react like that. Right? We have to just hustle, go back there, and get the ball. All right. This next one's going to be a theme. So we're going to see this a couple times, unfortunately. Let's just run this through. All right. So anybody pick up what I'm trying to show on this one. So there's going to be another clip very similar to this one later. So our screen and roll defense. So she comes over. She sets the screen on Mariah. Now, I don't know if we were switching or not or maybe or what. I, I couldn't tell you what's going on here. But she comes through, sets a good screen on Mariah. Mariah goes over the top of it, which... Okay, it's fine. I know Coach T actually wants us to do that. Maybe that's not what we've done in Wolfpack, but I can live with that. But Anisia, you have got to flash out and stop the ball and help her. Ortea, you got to flash out and stop the ball. Ramey finally does come over. So, Ramey, you get high marks with your hands up, too. Look at that, trying to draw the charge, right? But, Anisia, this is yours. Anisia, you got to flash out and stop the ball, right? As we always talk about, stop the ball and then get back to your girl. Otherwise, we're just chasing, and it's a wide-open layup, other than Ramey stepping in to take the charge. So we got to be better on our screen defense. Let's look at the next one. 
So I have watched this clip. I think this is the eighth or ninth time I've seen this. And I still have absolutely no idea how Riot does this. That pass right there. That is an absolute thing of beauty. And Anissi gets fouled, almost gets an and one. <clears throat> but I have watched, I'm going to watch it again. Just because I, look at that. How did she get that through there? Raya, that might be the greatest pass I think I've ever seen you throw. Right through, through two defense. Like, I still, I even at slow motion, I have absolutely no idea how you get that. Look at this. Right underneath her hand, you bounce it there with spin. It spins back into Anisia's hands. It is an absolute thing of beauty. Like, that is, like, Steve Nash level passing. Like, Chris Paul level passing. That's, you know, that's something else. That's pretty impressive. Hell of a pass, Mariah. That's pretty cool. All right. Back to the screen and roll defense, I think. Yep. Or no, it's not. Actually, I take that back. This isn't a screen and roll. This is actually a good one. Let's back it up. This is actually just a really good defensive possession in general. Just let it run. Look at this fighting. We're going to go through a few of these clips here in a second because there's some pretty funny stuff that happens in this clip. But look at this defense. People are sagging. They're looking at the ball. Raya, you go to reach for it, but it's out of bounds. That's okay. I'd rather have you do that than have it go out of bounds and we don't when we don't grab it. They inbound it. They basically run, a, run C, right? Everybody recognizes that as C, I think, right? Shot goes up. Good box out by Caitlin and Ramey. Get the rebound and we go. So let's go back to the beginning. There's some pretty cool stuff in here I want to call out. This is really a great defensive possession of Wolfpack. It is. So they come down. They make they make this first pass. Ooh, come on, Eric. There we go. Look at, look at close up by Ramey. Creep. Now, Ramey, I could maybe pick on you a little bit and say you're a little too close. You might get called for a follow. But look at that. She closes out right on her defender. Bang. Just like that. Caitlin's got her eye on the ball. Everybody, look at everybody's got their eye. Nisi probably has to have, have her eye on the ball, but everybody else for the most part is looking, right? So it comes the drive. Taya comes over to help because she's sagging. Great help from Taya. A little bit of a fight there, right? Ball comes back out. Taya's all over. Now watch, watch Taya play defense. Taya's in such good defensive position you don't even see her, right? Like she's like hide, hidden by like her by her, the girl she's guarding. Look at that. Look how tight that defense is. Caitlin's got her eye on the ball. She's sagging. Anisia's got her eye on the ball. Mariah does. Everybody's got their eye on the ball. Great defensive positions. Now watch this. This is great. Caitlin comes over to help because her girl goes over the top. Caitlin decides to go for the ball and reach a little bit. Probably a foul there, Caitlin. That's okay. She passes it, and she pops Caitlin right in the back of the head. Look at that. Boom. <laughs> so you say you want to be a post player. Uh, that's what it's like. So Caitlin and her are fighting underneath. I think that's pretty funny. Good drive. Good help from Anisia. Anisia goes to help here. Taya goes out to reach and then closes. That's really good. Look at that. She helps out and goes out to close. Look at that. Look at this. Look at this off this defensive possession right here. Look at Caitlin sagging. Maybe I'd want Mariah to sag a little bit, a little bit more, right? But everybody's looking at the ball. Nobody's got their head turned, right? We go over here to help. Coming down, just really great defensive possession, lady. That's that's what it's all about. That's Wolfpack defense. I think that's great. Now, <clears throat> let's see what some good patient offense looks like. A little bit of a bobbled pass over to here. Taya to Anisia. Anisia looks maybe could hit Caitlin, but she wasn't comfortable, so she holds it. That's patience. That's great. Up to Mariah. Mariah's looking. She tests over here. Anisia comes over. She tests up top, right? We're going to swing it back this way. Caitlin's got it. Caitlin's got it. Passes it to Ramey. Ramey's testing. Ramey's looking. Gets it to Taya. Taya with the step through and the layup, right? There's no shot clock. We can do this all day. Look at this. Moving around. People moving. Taya, like, like look at this. Right? Taya's doing the jump in and jump out, right? The ball's not on her side, but she's not standing still. That's good. Anisia's doing the same. Nice pop-up by Anisia. Look at that pass from Mariah. Look what hand it hits Anisia in the outside hand. Oh, that makes me so happy to see it hit the outside hand. Testing over here. Anisia's going to test, see what's going on. 
Doesn't see it. Look at that pass. The outside hand. Oh, and look at Caitlin. Look at Caitlin step forward to receive it. She's right. Look at it. She's on, on that white line. Pass comes and she catches it way up here. Stepping forward to receive the pass. Oh, got tears in my eyes. Makes me so happy. Look at outside hand. Pass to Ramey. Hits her in the outside hand. Look how far away that is. That's why we do it that way. Comes into Taya. Taya with a nice pump fake and the finish. Great, great, great patient offense. Good passing positions. I love it. This one, I don't love so much. This is another. This is going to look very familiar because it's going to look like a clip that I just ran a few minutes ago. So this is the same screen and roll defense I was just showing a second ago. So Ruth, you got the ball. Mariah, your girl comes up the screen. Anicia and uh, Ramey, I like you guys are moving into SAG. We need to probably move a little quicker, a little bit more urgency to get over there. But Raya, your girl set the screen, and you don't pop up to start it. Stop it. Right? So you have, just like the one clip I showed a second ago with Anicia, when your girl sets the screen, in this case Raya's girl is setting the screen, you have to pop out to stop it. Because if you don't, it's just a layup. Right? So we've got to work on our screen, our screen and roll defense. Okay, <clears throat> I'm going to pause it here. This one, uh, this is a rough looking clip, ladies. This is going to be the hardest one to watch. So uh, please just understand that we're all coming from a place of love. <laughs> and uh, uh, we got some improvement to work on this one. So let's just let this one roll a little bit. Maddie's bringing it up. Ball pressure, kind of a rough pass. Liv tracks it down. She's getting ball pressure. She wings it to Maddie across the whole court, gets picked off, and then the layup. And then something even worse happens, but we'll cover that in a second. So let's go back to the beginning. All right. So Maddie comes up, gets really hard ball pressure, right? So she's looking for somewhere to throw the ball. She's got the girl in front of her. Right? The girl actually deflects it. This is probably a good time for Maddie probably to pick it up. Pump fake maybe to Ramey. Step through or pump fake to live. Get that defender off of you a little bit. It also puts you in a little bit of a bad spot, Mad Dog, when you picked up your dribble that far away from the offense. Right? You're, you're one of the best ball handlers I've ever seen. You can, you can handle that. Get your off arm out. Keep her, keep her away from you. But you throw the pass. She deflects it. Liv runs it down, which is fine. Right, and Liv comes forward. She gets a little bit of a shove, but that, that's going to happen. But Liv's from here. She's like, okay, I'm going to get it back to Maddie. And she throws a pass from three quarters of the court away and didn't throw it to Maddie's outside hand. And Maddie's trying to step forward to get it, but she can't because it's such a long pass. And see, it actually has arc on that pass, too. That's not a very snapped pass. So she picks it off in midstream. And that, all that isn't really good, ladies, but what really ticks me off about this clip is what's about to happen next. So she comes down, basically on a wide open break. And I see Maddie against her, and I see four Wolfpack girls sort of just making their way down the court. And you know why this matters? Because she misses the layup. Watch the, watch the reaction of these four. She'll take the shot off camera, we stop, and then, oh my goodness, we gotta go! Because she missed the shot. And by the time you get there, right, by the time we get there, she's already underneath the hoop and got her own layup, or her own rebound, right, for a foul, right? Ladies, we don't jog. You stop, oh, I should probably hurry up and get there, oh, oh. You never know what's gonna happen. Hustle all the time. Okay, this one is a little bit of a lesson. All right, so you guys are watching that. You're probably thinking to yourself, well, what's wrong with that, Coach Eric? There's nothing major wrong with that. There really isn't. This is actually pretty good defense. But I want to show you guys something, because I think this actually happened in the Jamboree, and Caitlin used to catch crap from me all the time about this. I think she's gotten a little bit better about it, but I want you guys to show to see something. So Caitlin's look at the defense. Caitlin's in good position. Actually, pretty decent defense, quite frankly. The screen coming to Araya to set her girl free. 
She's going to catch the ball. Caitlin's going to close. I want you to watch Mariah. Watch Mariah's right hand. Mariah's going to come down, put her right hand down. That's an obvious foul, right? That is no question that's an obvious foul, but watch what Mariah does. Call for a foul. She's holding up her... I have my hand straight up. I didn't do anything wrong, right? Look, my hand is straight up. I didn't do anything wrong. No, you didn't, huh? Right there. Your hand is not straight up. Neither is Caitlin's. If she would have hit Caitlin first, that would have been a foul on Caitlin, but she hits you first, Mariah. The point is, I see girls do this all the time. Caitlin does it. Mariah does it. Anicia does it. You all do it. Maddie does it. We all do it, right? Probably you don't have your hand straight up when they called that foul. You think you did, but you didn't, right? So let's stop showing, showing up the refs with our hands up in the air, trying to make a point I was straight up because the big eye in the sky don't lie. And 99 times out of 100, you didn't have your hands straight up, and you two girls didn't, right? So that was a foul on either one of you, right? You did not have your hands straight up. So let's stop showing up the refs, please. On that, that's not going to help us at all. All right. I picked on Raya, I think, the last three plays. So this is going to be a good Raya play that we're going to show here. Good box out, Raya. Good rebound. You're going to dribble down, and you're going to do something. I don't know if you were sick, Raya, because I've never seen you do this before. Look at that. Look at that. Even Coach T. Look at Coach T's reaction. Look at that. Oh, I know you guys are probably thinking, what, Eric? He didn't, she didn't shoot it. She didn't make it. What are, you, what are you freaking out about? Watch Raya. Watch Raya come down, dribbles down, and she, oh, patience. She pulls it back out. Look at her. Keep her dribble. She didn't pick it up. Oh, my goodness. I'm so happy. I'm crying. I need to get a box of Kleenex. Oh, Mariah, that makes me so happy. Look at that. Look at even Coach T. Coach T's like, look at Coach T's reaction. Hey, all right, we did it. Nick, we got some patience. Look at that. Set up the offense. Let's rock and roll. Good Raya dribble. Good passing. Into the offense we go. Oh, Raya, look at that. You actually do listen to us. That makes me so happy. Coming down. I'm just, I've got to see it one more time. Look at Raya. Just peel right back off. Look at that. Hold her dribble. Look at her hold her dribble. Ah. Oh, Raya. That's so cool. All right. I started this clip. The coach in the hat gave us a clip that this was the Halloween edition. Well, we're going to see something very spooky in this clip. I'm just going to let it roll, and then we'll see what happens. This only happens on Halloween. This is pretty cool. See if you can spot it. Something kind of eerie and spooky for Halloween is going to happen. Trust me. It's coming. It's coming. Trust me. I promise. It's coming. I promise. I promise. All right. Freeze it. This is pretty cool. We've decided to play basketball with only four defenders. This is the case of the mysterious disappearing defender. Only happens on Halloween, where defenders just vanish into thin air. But you want to see a poorly coached team. Let's go back a second. Right? So, look at that. If you guys ever do what this girl is up at the top, see that girl in the orange? Nobody's guarding her. Nobody's guarding her. All they should do is inbound it to her for a layup. But watch what she does. The place is I should go set the screen. So she goes and sets the screen. Are you insane? Where are you going? Why are you setting a screen? Well, anyway, she sets the screen anyway. So eventually they get the ball for, well, it's a wide open jump shot. Of course it's a wide open jump shot because we only have four defenders. Shoot the jump shot, they miss, they get the rebound because how can you box that girl out? Because we only have four defenders. And they get a put back. Now watch this, this is pretty cool. As we're going back, see that girl in the orange in the middle of the floor? She's actually yelling to our bench. You guys see her put up the four? Look at her put up the four. She's the one telling us, hey, you guys only have four players. We need our opponent to tell us that we should have five players on the court. Now, in fairness, probably a little bit of a coaching issue, it happens. But really, let's go back to the very beginning. How did this happen? So, Ramey gets in a fight, which Ramey tends, tends to do every once in a while. Ramey gets up, 
She has to come off the floor because she's got blood on her. So as she goes, so Ruth, I don't, not, I'm sorry, not Ruth, Anicia. Anicia comes on the floor. Anicia's coming on the floor for Rainy. Here comes Anicia, right? She's taking Rainy's spot. But for some reason, she tells Ruth, or Ruth thought she was coming in for her. I don't know which it is. But Ruth says, I'm going to leave. Caitlin comes on the court. She checks in for McKenna. And off go McKenna and Ruth. So three girls of the wolf pack left, and only two came on. So now we have four defenders. And what's interesting, look at Caitlin's reaction. So McKenna, maybe one thing for you to wa- work on here. I, I can't tell. I don't have the audio. But it doesn't look like Caitlin heard you tell her who she's guarding. Because she looks back, like, looking at you like, who am I? Who am I guarding? Right? Let's make sure we're very clear. We don't have to be in a hurry to get off the court. But let's make sure we tell each other who we're guarding. And I don't think Ruth could have told anybody who she was guarding when she is running off because she doesn't actually stop. So there goes Ruth off the court. And goes McKenna off the court. And then we decide to play defense with four defenders. Four on five is difficult um, in basketball. Usually leads to wide open layups and jump shots and and bad things. So let's have just, we talked about court awareness last time. Let's have a little bit better court awareness. Pretty pleased with Sugar on top. All right, we will end with a very positive thing. So last week it was Anicia's highlight reel of what leadership looks like when somebody decides it's time to win the game. Today we're going to go through Olivia. So Olivia decided, this is this is winter time, right? Just like Anicia was uh, last week. It's now winter time. It's kind of clutch time in the game. Uh, Taya, you also just had an awesome play, by the way, when I truncated it off. But you went in, got an and one, a bucket, and you got a free throw. But I want you guys to watch Olivia's work here. Just watch, keep an eye on Olivia through this whole clip. Rebounds, knocks her ass over, climbs back up, stays in her position, runs down, gets another rebound, puts it back in. She's the first one down. Look at that. She's the first one back. Right? Comes over. She's sagging in position, looking at her girl, tracks down the game-clinching rebound. Right? So that ends the game. So let's see it one more time. Heart, hustle, fight, leadership. That's what You can't teach this kind of stuff. You either want it or you don't. Olivia wanted it at this stage of the game. Look at her get knocked. Look at her. Look at her get knocked over. Fighting over it, fighting over. A girl basically hits her in the back of the head, knocks her over. Olivia falls down. She's wide open. Right? She actually calls for the ball for a second. She's wide open. Right. Good shot by you, Rainy. By the way, good good in rhythm shot. Olivia collapses, crunches down, gets it. Right. She's not in a bad position. Grabs that rebound right back up again. Look at that. I'd like to see some other girls do this. No dribble. I got it. Straight back up. In she goes, and look who's first person back. Tao is even further back than you. And Olivia gets back there first. Gets down there, decides I'm going to grab the game-clinching rebound, and it's all over from here, right? There's nothing that the opponent can do at that point. So that's it for this one. Hope you guys had a great Halloween. I'm going to miss you for the next week or so while I'm traveling and uh, got some other things going on. Hope you guys enjoyed this, and I'll chat with you later. Take care. Bye-bye.